What's up everybody? Welcome to a new video. I am on my way to Louisville, Kentucky, or actually Lawrenceburg, Kentucky, to pick up a load. I'm going to Maine, Portland, Maine. I am picking up one coil, which is about 7,000 pounds, and about 7 feet long, 7 feet tall. Then from there, I have to go pick up a second load in Louisville, Kentucky, which is about an hour away. So I am a little tight on time because it uh, shows that I'm going to be arriving to my first pickup at 12.30 and I've got to be at the second pickup no later than 2 o'clock. So really pressing for time. And it's raining outside so that doesn't make it any easier. So let's head on over to the first pickup, try to get loaded quick, then go to the second pickup. All right guys, I just made it to the shipper. Here's that cable reel that I'm picking up. It's about 7,000 pounds. That's it. I appreciate it. You too. All right, guys. Here it is. About seven, seven feet tall, seven thousand pounds. Let's get it chained down.
this one seems fairly simple to chain down because you don't have to use a rod to push the chain through it's pretty wide open in there make sure the chain is straight and not twisted
All right, guys, we got it all chained down. Let's head on over to the second pickup. About one mile away from the shipper of the second load. Should be picking up one AC unit, about 2,500 pounds. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Plantside Drive. Seems like the rain stopped a little bit, so might get lucky and not get wet outside. That would be good. At the light, turn right onto Plantside Drive. Half a mile, turn left onto Technology Drive. Alright guys, pulling up to the shipper. Hopefully get loaded pretty quickly. And be on my way. Picking up one of these AC units. But these look kind of big. Mine's only 2,500 pounds, so I might be getting a smaller one. Let's go find out. All right, guys, so while I was checking in, the guy already loaded the AC unit on a trailer, so that saved me some time. So I'm getting ready to chain it down. I'm trying to figure out the best way to run the chains. This one's fairly easy to run because I've got these open spots here I can run my hand through and just kind of toss it to the other side. But this side's a little different. Got the hole here, but I might have to push the chain through somehow to the other end. Let's give it a try.
All right, guys, I'm gonna take some pictures and hit the road. Just dropped off my first load over in Maine. It's cold over here. It's kind of drizzling a little bit of rain. It's cold. It's about 40 degrees. Let's head on over for the second drop. It's about two hours away. Drop that and hopefully get a load out of Maine because there's absolutely nothing out of here right now. I dropped off my second load and absolutely no loads out of Maine. So, find a truck stop and let the search game begin. The usual. Hopefully something will come out though. Don't want to get stuck in Maine over the weekend. Let's see what happens. What's up guys, uh, I am at a shipper in Maine, just picked up a, a crate, it's about 22 feet long, about 2 feet tall, and maybe 3 feet wide. This is about 2,500 pounds, so I'm going to throw some straps over it, and it has to be tarp. So let's get to it.
but it's called the road. This is going to Michigan around Detroit area. Currently driving through Ohio. I've got about three hours left to go to the truck stop where I'll be stopping over on the weekend. It's uh, Saturday today. I'm going to stop and do my reset and then um, I'm about 45 minutes away from where I need to drop the load. They've got an appointment scheduled for about 9 or 10 a.m. This load is going to somebody's house. It's a big crate full of wood. I think they're making a fence out of it. So this load that I picked up out of Maine going to Detroit, Michigan area pays $1,600. I ended up dropping my previous two loads Thursday morning and I could not find any loads out on Thursday. Well, neither could my dispatcher find anything. There was just absolutely nothing. So Friday he found this load which is also not a great load but there was just absolutely nothing and I sure didn't want to get stuck in Maine over the weekend so we had to take this load which is a little bit less than two dollars per mile but my previous two loads were about four dollars per mile getting into Maine so at the end it's not horrible but overall for this week I'm right at six thousand dollars which is a little bit less than I would have liked to make, but it's not horrible. You're gonna have your ups and downs, good weeks and bad weeks. This is a decent one. It's not great though. All right guys, that's gonna do it for my week. I'll drive the three hours, stop at a truck stop, wait till Monday, do the usual reset, hit the gym, do laundry, and we'll go from there. I appreciate you guys watching the video and I will see you in the next one.